Good morning, Pio Nation. I hope you're having a, a great morning so far. My name is Matt Williamson, and you are watching Marietta College Esports. Today is a very exciting day here at Marietta College because we have so many things going on. First of all, we have our admissions open house that's going on over here at the gathering place, but we also have several esports matches for you today. In just a matter of minutes, we will have our Rocket League team go up against Tiffin University, and then later on today, uh, our Overwatch and League of Legends teams will also be going up against Tiffin University. Uh, so this is a very exciting conference match. We're winding down the, the end of the, uh, the fall uh, split, fall semester schedule, whatever you want to call it. So we're getting things ready up for it. We're still working on getting the lobby set up. I'm checking over here on my screen to, to see once we get the, the lobby information. So as soon as we have that, we'll get that set up and get the game to you in just a couple minutes. Uh, so while we are waiting for that, we'll go ahead and go over the roster for our Rocket League team. Uh, so we have Joe Hall, our team captain, Joel. Uh, we have Brandon Larson as Larson, David Stratton as seven time, and Grant Swan as Thaxter 21. Now, our Rocket League team, they've been improving uh, over the semester, but I will be the first to admit there are a lot of really good Rocket League teams uh, in the Great Lakes Esports Conference. In fact, I believe some of them are in the NACE Collegiate Rocket League Tournament, and they're doing very well there as well. Uh, so they've been, uh, they've been challenged, but they have been improving. So... Uh, this should be a, a pretty good matchup with uh, Tiffin, so we'll see uh, how that goes. Uh, this will be a best of five series, so the first of three wins uh, will take the, the match. Uh, so we're still trying to get things uh, set up here. So let me check what's going on. Because we do want to get the, the match underway very, very soon. All right, yeah, so we're still getting some things set up. So as I mentioned, uh, just some programming notes. So we have our Rocket League match in a couple of minutes. Overwatch will be at 11 a.m. Eastern time. And then we will have our, um, let's see, hold on one second here, just double checking. Okay, yeah, so then we, yeah, we're still getting things set up here. Uh, then we have our uh, League of Legends match at noon. And then later on today, we'll actually be having our tryouts for the, uh, the students that have been coming to... Uh, uh, to the admissions, so they'll be trying out for some spots here. Now, if you weren't able to come today and try out for uh, a spot, that's perfectly fine. You can still come by to visit sometime. Oh, apparently we already have, I guess maybe Tiffin created it? Okay, so we're actually in the lobby. I thought we didn't have that set up ahead of time, but I guess I was mistaken. So uh, we will be getting the game to you very soon. So actually, let me get the audio up and running here beforehand, before I forget. There we go. All right, so once we get all that taken care of, so it looks like Marietta's gonna be on the blue side and Tiffin will be on the orange side. But yeah, as I was mentioning earlier, um, so we're gonna have our tryouts later on today for our prospective students. So we wish them the best of luck with that. And then if uh, you were interested in trying out for our esports program, but weren't able to come uh, to campus today, that's fine. Please be sure to contact us and we'd be more than happy to arrange a, a tryout for you. We do have uh, some scholarships available. They are talent-based scholarships, but we also have very good academic scholarship programs. So there are definitely uh, some ways to help make your college experience uh, more affordable. Uh, while we are waiting to get uh, everything set up, uh, if you haven't followed us on social media yet, please be sure to do so. Uh, so you can follow us on Facebook. So you can go to facebook.com slash Marietta College Esports. You can follow us on Twitter at Marietta Esports. And you can also uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Technically, it's a follow, not a subscription. But that would be bit.ly slash Marietta College Esports. Uh, all of our matches are broadcasted there. So like earlier this week, we had our Rainbow Six match against Northern Illinois. Uh, that did not go in our favor, unfortunately, but that match uh, will be broadcasted a week, uh, will be uploaded to YouTube a week after the broadcast. 
So like today, you should be able to see our games against Ohio Northern last week. Now, if you can't wait that long, well, you can always subscribe to our Twitch channel. So that gives you instant access uh, to all of our VODs. So all of our broadcasts, you'll be able to check it out. You'd also get access to our custom Marietta College emotes. Uh, we got to give credit to communication and brand management uh, for that. Uh, let me check uh, something here. All right, just give me one second here. Be be right back one minute. <sighs> All right, sorry about that. We just had to get some information to make sure we can get Tiffin to join the, the lobby. Yeah, because because it'd be kind of difficult to have a match if we don't have Tiffin in here. Uh, so we're getting that information to them so they can join the uh, lobby. So as soon as we have that set up, then we'll be uh, good to go. So it looks like we're still waiting here. So in fact, we'll go ahead and just switch to the lobby as uh, we are waiting here. All right, and it looks like uh, Tiffin has joined. Yes. Yeah, so we are getting the, the lobby underway, so we should be able to get the, the first game to you in just a matter of minutes. In fact, we have already started up here. So here we go. Game one, Marietta College versus Tiffin University. And we already see Tiffin trying to go for a goal very early in the game, but doesn't quite connect. And in fact, Austin was trying to do a follow-up, but whiffed. So now we see Marietta trying to be on the defense. So Rookie Jaw will be taking the, the ball over to the right side, kicking it all the way down to the end, and see if he tries to go for a shot. Although Awesome Guy was able to deflect it backwards, and there was no follow-up there. But Larson tries to go for it, but Clean was able there to defend. So now we see Clean trying to take up the ball, but Thaxter is going to try to knock it right back onto and keep the pressure onto Tiffin's side. And the ball is just kind of... It's just kind of floating around. Tiffin's just bouncing back and forth, but Larson's centering up. But there's just no follow-up in there for the shot. So Tiffin will take it down to Mary's side. And we see Rookie Jaw be able to demo clean to like may give Mary the opportunity they need, but the ball is on Mary's side, so they're going to have to defend. Larson's able to knock it all the way to the right side. So now Jaw will be taking his shot towards the goal, but it's just a little too high, but Nova is knocking it just a little bit off to the side. And Marietta tries to take the control of the ball, but Staxter is uh, centering it, and then the Larson's going to be knocking it in, but doesn't quite get the angle that he needs. So now the ball's heading straight to the Marietta's side. So Clean almost made the shot, but a nice save there by Rookie Jaw. So Tiffin's trying to get the pressure up, and Clean tries to go for a shot, but it just doesn't angle correctly. So now we see the ball kind of centering up, but Larson will knock it down straight to the center. So here comes Larson taking the ball down, and Thaxter's behind to help with the follow-up. So now Thaxter tries to go for a shot, but Clean was right there to knock it away. So now Awesome Guy's going to try to center things up, but Larson knocks it before he was able to make it into the goal. Now we got three minutes and 20 seconds left in game one. So we see Tiffin trying to go for the shot, but it just gets deflected. And then Clean goes in and Tiffin does get the first score. So, I mean, Marietta was able to defend that one shot, but just no one was there to defend the follow-up shot. So Thaxter is able to get the, the first hit, and then Clean just deflects it over to the right side. So Thaxter is going to be trying to go in. So Marietta needs some kind of follow-up. There's about three minutes into this first game. So Nova tries to, to go for the shot, but Thaxter was able to make the save. So now Thaxter's going to be bringing the, the ball over, and it's centered up, but Clean was able to defend it, so if Thaxter would have made the shot if it weren't for Clean. And Clean was able to demo Rookie Jaw. 
but the ball is now on Tiffin's side. So Nova tried to bring it over, but Mario's a block it back. Awesome guy knocks it over to the, their left side. And right now, Marietta is putting a little bit of pressure on the defense, but they're able to knock it back over to Marietta's side. So Thaxter will try to defend, but the ball is dangerously centered up, but Diffin goes for the goal, but it just ball hits the wrong direction. So now Thaxter is going to be bringing the ball over. Now Ricky Jaw is going to be knocking it over, but Clean is able to deflect it before it goes into the goal. So now Thaxter is going to be taking a shot, so it is centered, and Nova will knock it away, and it bounces over Ricky Jaw, and there's no one there to defend for Marietta. But fortunately, the ball did not go in. It was knocked over to the left side. So Larson will take the ball back over and knock it over. Tiffin tries to go for the shot, but Clean was there to defend. That one was really close. So now Ricky Jaw will bring it over. The Clean will try to knock it into the goal, but it bounces up in the air. And then Jaw will knock it high in the air. So now it's a minute 43 left. Marietta has to get something on the board. So it looks like Clean is going to be trying to make a shot, but Thaxter is there to disrupt. And then Larson will be trying to fly to dribble the ball, but doesn't quite go the distance he wants. Nova goes for a shot, but it leans left. So Thaxter will bring it, and Clean is going to go straight for the goal, and Tiffin does get the uh, the goal. So now Tiffin is up 2-0, and there's only about minute 22 left in this first game. So Marietta is going to have to uh, do something to be able to uh, get back into this. So we see Thaxter going for the shot, but it just goes wide right. So Larson's there to disrupt Clean's uh, progress, but the ball goes back to the Marietta side. So Thaxter will knock it over, but Clean is going to be right there to knock it back. Now there's one minute remaining. And we see Jaw kind of disrupting the uh, the angle. But now we're down to about 50 seconds. Awesome guy is going to be bringing the ball over onto Marietta's side. Thaxter knocks it back. And then Rookie Jaw is able to knock it away. But now this is Marietta's chance. So Thaxter will be knocking the ball over. But there is 37 seconds left. And Marietta has to score two goals. So Nova was able to make sure it was not going to be centered. So now we have the 30 second warning. So now Marius is trying to get it away from their side, but there are 17 seconds left. And Ricky Jaw will be knocking the ball over, but Austin Guy is right there to pick the ball back up. And then both Daxter and Jaw tried to take a shot, but they weren't able to quite connect. Five seconds remaining. And Larson was able to score at the buzzer. However, the uh, the clock is at zero. So while Larson was able to get a shot at the last second, it does not appear that it's going to be enough to win the game. So Tiffin does take uh, game one. So Marietta was able to get something to connect at the end there. But it just, just a little too little too late. Uh, so hopefully Marietta can kind of take these, that momentum at the very end of the game into game two. This is a best of five series. Uh, so if Marietta is able to uh, clean, clean some things up and maybe try to make sure they defend a bit more, then they may be able to come back and win this game. So it's not over yet, even though Tiffin was able to take uh, game one. All right, so it looks like we're getting the, the lobby set up. So game two... Uh, should be starting any second now. In fact, here we go. So game two, Marietta College versus Tiffin University. So we see Thaxter getting the, the first hit, but the ball will be on Marietta's side. Jaw tries to knock it over. It misses and clean. Goes straight for the goal, but Larson's there for the save. But Larson's going to be trying to bring the ball over. Maybe getting a little too far ahead, giving Awesome Guy a chance to take control of the ball back. But Jaw's right there to knock it over. And there's not a whole lot of defense there for Tiffin, but clean was there at the last second to save it. So now Larson's going to try to put pressure onto Tiffin's side. And then Ricky Jaws, as, as there was some disruption, Ricky Jaws tried to knock it over, but it went over, went right instead of left. So now we have Thaxter taking control of the ball and see if he can make a play. But Tiffin's able to knock it away from him. And then Jaws was able to try to knock it, but he goes uh, right as well. And the ball's going straight over to Mary to side, but the angle's wide right. 
So now we see Nova going to go try to go for a shot. And he does get the first goal at 4 minutes and 7 seconds in, uh, remaining in this game. So it just kind of goes in the air. And Nova was just right there to, to knock it in. So we'll see if Marietta can respond to this. So they're going to have to try to make a, a play. Uh, so we see that Clean's going to try to set up something, but Thaxter was there to disrupt. So now Larson's going to be taking the ball over. An awesome guy is there to defend. And here comes Ricky Joel uh, trying to angle it up, but Clean is going to knock it off to the their right side and start bringing the ball over. And there's no one there to defend, but Larson tried to do something, but Clean was able to get an easy score. Uh, it just seems like Marietta was just not ready for that. They didn't fall back fast enough. And Larson tried his best, but Clean was able to use the boost uh, to get the goal in, to get the ball into the goal. So now Tiffin is up 2-0 in game two. And Nova was able to get the first hit, but Rookie Jaw is able to knock it back. So we see the ball going straight over to Marietta's goal, and Thaxter is going to be able to uh, just dribble it away a little bit, but Nova's going to try to center it up. But Larson will knock it over. An awesome guy was able to deflect it back. And Marietta seems to be struggling a bit. I mean, they were able to put more pressure on the Tiffin in game one, but they're not having as much luck in this game. In fact, Nova's going to straight for the goal. Uh, Clean gets demoed, so Larson was able to take the ball back. But awesome guy was there to try to do something, but Larson knocks it away from it, and now we'll be taking up onto Tiffin's side. But they're just having trouble getting shots into the goal this time. They were able to make more shots in the first game. And we see Clean bringing the, the ball up and trying to center it up in the air to go for the shot. And Nova tries to get something, but it doesn't work, quite work. Awesome guy goes for the shot, but it hits the, uh, the top bar. And fortunately, Thaxter was able to knock away. But here comes Nova trying to take another shot, but it goes wide left. So now Thaxter's going to be knocking over, but Clean's bringing it back. So uh, Tiffin's doing a much better job with putting pressure onto Marietta again. But now the ball is on Tiffin's side, but Nova will deflect it away. Thaxter's going to try to get some control on the ball, but Nova was able to re, uh, resume control. Will be centered up, but Larson's able to knock it off the, the goal. And Thaxter does get demoed in the process. So then Larson's going to knock it way over to the left side. But the ball kind of bounces back and Nova's going to go straight for the goal. But it's a little bit to the left. So now we get about two minutes remaining. So then Joel's going to try to do something, but it gets deflected. Awesome guy's going to wait to center things up. But Larson's going to knock it away. So now rookie Joel's going to go straight for the goal. And they get a goal! So Larson was able to knock it down, and Rookie Jaw was able to angle it just right, so it goes straight into the goal! I've always wanted to do that. So now, we've got a minute 50 left, so Marionette now has a chance. They are down by one, so they need to get something in very quickly. So the ball's heading over to Tiffin's side. Austin will knock it away over to their right side. Taxter did try to get control of the ball, but uh, just whipped a little bit. Nova's going for a shot with an empty goal, but Larson was there to save it. So now Clean's going to be going for a shot, but Rookie Joe, uh, no, actually, I believe that was Larson that was able to defend. So now we see Larson kind of knocking the ball, but Clean will try to set this up for a goal. But Jaw was there to defend. But now Marietta's having to play against the clock. There's a minute 10 left. So now Larson's going to be setting it up over to the left side, but Clean is there to uh, block. So he'll be knocking over it, and, and then Nova's going to be angling to the other side. So now we got the one-minute warning. So Tiffin tried to go for something, but Jaw was able to uh, defend it. And then Nova tried to go for this, the uh, the goal, but Thaxter was able to block it. So now they got forty about 45 seconds left in this game. So Marion is going to have to try to go for something. Jaw tries to go for the score, but Nova was there to block. So Jaw will try to center it up, but it does get blocked away. So then Daxter tries to go for it, but it also gets blocked. So Marion is trying to take hits, but there's 30 seconds left. And it almost went into Marietta's goal, but fortunately it was just leaning a little bit to the left. But Marietta is now running out of time. So there's 20 seconds remaining. So Clean goes for the shot, but Daxter does get the save. 
So now there's only 10 seconds left and Merida is going to have to get something very quickly if they're going to at least get this into overtime with five seconds left. So Larson tries to go for something, but the ball gets knocked away. And unfortunately, Merida just did not have enough time. So game two uh, will go to Tiffin University. So once again, I mean, Marietta is having some good moments, but it just seems a, a little too little too late uh, for that to happen. All right, so it looks like, uh, so according to the, the conference rules, after a team gets at least two wins, uh, they can request a 10-minute break. And Tiffin uh, has decided... Uh, to do oh wait no actually I thought uh, they're asking if they want the uh, the 10 minute break um, so hold on one second we're gonna see if there's gonna be a 10 minute break or not Just trying to let the uh, the team know that if they want the ten minute break, they can choose to do so. Yeah, just hang on tight as we just still kind of get things set up to see if we're going to take a break or if we're going to go straight into uh, game three. Let me check with the, with the team real quick. I'll be right back in just a minute. All right, so we should be getting game three uh, set up very soon here. So as soon as we uh, get that ready, we'll uh, we'll have that to you. Yeah, so it looks like everyone is uh, joining up here. Now, this is going to be important for Marietta because uh, Tiffin is just one game away from taking the series. So here we are, game three. So Marietta is going to have to do something. They've had some good moments, but it's going to be uh, it's a do or die moment for them here. And Thaxter gets demoed pretty early on. So awesome guy will be knocking the ball over. Although Larson is going to try to center things up and Jaw was there to try to go for the score. Uh, but it was blocked by Tiffin. So now we see Nova bring the ball over and heading over to clean to try to set the shot. But Larson was right there to block it away. So Larson's trying to go for the uh, the goal here, but Nova was there to defend. So Thaxter's going to be going for something that angles really high into the air, and Nova was able to block it away. So now Thaxter's going to try to block it back, but clean demos him in the process. So now we see Nova going to try to take a shot and goes over to the right side, but Thaxter is able to block it away. So. But then Awesome Guy is going to block it, knock it back. Rookie Jaw tries to knock off something, but doesn't quite happen. But uh, Thaxter was there to knock it off to the side. And Clean's going to be over there to try to keep the pressure onto Marietta, but Thaxter is able to deflect it. Nova tries to go for the, the score, and he does get the goal in there. Or does, well, get the ball in the goal, I should say. So it's just kind of slowly heading towards the goal, and Merida was just not able to defend in time. So now we see Clean going to try to go for a, a second, uh, another goal very quickly. And just Frank from the get-go, Nova was able to get a second goal.
and it was just like Daxter was trying to defend something and, and so was Jaw, but Meredith was just not able to have anyone ready for that second shot. Now Daxter's going to be going straight, straight for the goal, but Nova was able to disrupt him. So now Nova's going to be going for another goal. And the goal is exposed again. And right now, Marietta is just... I think they're just trying to go all in and trying to get something in, but they're leaving the goal uh, undefended. And that's allowing Tiffin to be able to exploit it and just get some very quick goals. So now they're already down 3-0, and this game may run away. Unless Marietta able, is able to make uh, some very quick plays. So Daxter is going to try to knock the ball over. And Larson will try to set things up. And Larson is able to get the goal in. So a very quick response with the assist from Daxter. So Larson is able to tap it over. And it just pops right into the goal. So Merida will not go down without a fight. So Merida's got to do that a couple more times, though. So Thaxter tries to take the shot, and Clean was able to disrupt it, but Thaxter's going to be uh, heading back a little bit to see if he can intercept this from Nova. Nova does not connect. So now Merida's going to try to take the, the ball over. And the ball's wide open, and Merida scores again! So just great play there from Thaxter, just kind of stop a little bit or knock it over, preventing uh, Tiffin to be able to respond. So now it's a one goal difference, 2 minutes and 53 seconds left in this game. So it's not over yet, so Marion just needs to see if they can keep up that momentum and get back into this. So we see Larson going to go to the shot, but Tiffin was able to block it. So now we see Awesome Guy uh, trying to knock it over and center it up, but Thaxter was there to defend. So now Clean's going to be go for the shot, but it goes high, a little bit high in the air. Nova tries to do something, but Awesome's going to try to go for the shot, but misses. So now Larson's going to be bringing the ball over, and it's well, somewhat exposed, but Clean was there to defend. And Clean's able to knock in the air, but just goes a little bit to the right. But Nova was there with the follow up for the score. And once again, Marinette was just not at the goal ready for that. So now we're back to a two goal difference. Uh, two minutes and 25 seconds into this game. So can Marietta come back from this? Uh, so they're going to have to try to get some early goals like they did earlier. So Thaxter kind of knocks over to the, the right, but there's not much follow-up with it. Clean gets the demo, and Jaw was able to knock it away. And here comes Nova trying to set her up for another score, but uh, Jaw was able to deflect it. At least I believe it was Jaw. So the ball's heading over to Tiffin's side. And Marion is going to try to do something. But now Nova is going to be knocking it. And it was undefended. But fortunately, it just leans a bit to the right. So now Thaxter is going to be knocking it over to, the, to Tiffin's side. But not much follow-up since Nova was able to uh, block it back. So then Clean's going to go for the goal. But Jaw was there to save it. And Austin was trying to do the follow-up. But Rookie Jaw was there to defend as well. So we see Tiffin trying to pour on the pressure and prevent Mary from a chance to score. Larson gets demoed, and Awesome's going to be trying to go for the goal. And we see Nova was trying to go for the throw, but Mary was able to uh, deflect it in time. So now the ball's kind of centered up in the air on Tiffin's side. Nova's able to block it away. We got a minute 12 left in this game, and Mary still needs two goals. So now Larson's going to be knocking it down. we got about a minute left, and Marietta still needs two goals if they're going to take this. So now the goal is a little exposed, but there was just no one there quickly enough to, to shoot it in. Now Thaxter's going to be trying to center it up. But now Nova will be taking control of the ball, trying to knock it into Marietta's goal. But Clean kind of actually deflected it away. But now he's going to go for the goal, and Clean does get the goal. So that might be the nail in the coffin uh, for the... For the game. Because Marietta now needs three goals and 43 seconds in order to come back. I'm not going to say it's impossible, but it is going to be a very difficult challenge. 
So now Thaxter will try to bring it over, but Clean is there to knock it back. There are 30 seconds remaining. So now Dolph's going to be trying to do something to knock something in the gold, but Austin was there to defend. Thaxter's going to be uh, trying to set things up. 10 seconds is remaining. And with only five seconds left, Tiffin goes for one more score, and they're able to get it with two seconds remaining. So that's probably gonna be, that will be all she wrote. And that will be it. Uh, so Tiffin does uh, win the match, uh, three to zero. So that was unfortunate. Mary had some really good plays, but I think what really got them was uh, in game three they just left the goal exposed too many times. Uh, so. Uh, thank you all for watching. So what we're going to do is since the Overwatch match is not until 11 o'clock, we're going to take the stream down and then we're going to uh, bring it up again uh, shortly before the, the Overwatch match against Tiffin. So uh, go get something to eat, get a coffee, take a mini nap, whatever you need to do. But please be sure to, to come back in about... A little, almost an hour and a half, and we will get to our Overwatch and League of Legends games. Uh, so from all of us here, thank you for watching. We hope to see you in, in about an hour and a half.